What's going on is Anton from AntonDaniels.com. I appreciate you guys continuing to rock with me. I think we're about to go into a uh, pretty deep recession. I don't see the Fed uh, loosening up any on how fast they're raising rates in order to try to fight inflation. Uh, I don't see Biden with any strong economic policy. I don't see relief coming at the pump. I don't see housing prices going down anytime soon. All of it is a combination, including you know logistics, including um, the war over in Ukraine, including wars with China, trade wars with China. I don't see any relief coming for the average American family anytime soon. And so all of that kind of leads to one conclusion and that there's going to be somewhat of a drawn out recession depending on how long you think long is right i'm thinking anywhere between two to three years and that there will be a recession on our hands in which people will suffer at the hands of bad economic policy meanwhile you're being distracted right you're being distracted with everything that's going on with roe v wade uh you're being distracted with men versus women gender wars you're being distracted with so much that's happening when in reality we, reality, we really need to be paying attention to what's going on with big tech. We really need to be paying attention to what's going on in real estate, right? Because those are some of the lead indicators, what's happening with small business, the lead indicators as to what's really happening in the economy. And let me tell you why, right? When you start to see layoffs from big tech, now tech companies, uh, historically outside of the dot-com bubble burst and a little bit of what happened during the uh, recession, the Great Recession in 2008, dot-com companies, big tech, the larger companies outside of startup have largely been uh, outside of what really happens to the rest of America, right? When we had the recession in 2008, um, of course, everybody was suffering, right? You had banks because they had basically messed up and manufactured it anyway because they got too greedy which then we seen that roll out to real estate and real estate companies. Most real estate agents that I know right now are suffering. Um, and then also on top of that, you had everybody that made anything because everybody had stopped buying anything. Uh, those were, those companies were affected largely, right? But then big tech, you know, and when I say big tech, I'm, I'm thinking Google, Facebook, you know, all of the largest companies, those companies went on to continue to do what they do because People's habits and buying habits will continue, right? People found a way. They found a way to buy iPhones. Um, they never stop using social media. Social media marketing is largely a tool that's used and capitalized off of, of people that know how to market themselves effectively to people that are looking for their services, right? And so spending continued on, on certain platforms, but now we have more companies than ever that's leaning into tech, which makes it its own true own industry in America specifically. Similar to how you have manufacturing with cars and, you know, we're trying to bring manufacturing back so we can stop depending on foreign countries and other countries because even now, you know, I was talking to a guy, I was talking to multiple people because I wanted to go out and do a survey a little bit. But I was talking to multiple people earlier this morning and we were on a, um, you know, kind of like a networking thing. Uh, uh, I don't know if you want to call it a mastermind session because it wasn't. But there's a group of us, uh, business leaders, and it's from all different industries, and uh, we have Zoom calls and we have meetups and meetings uh, maybe once a month, and we kind of talk about what's going on in their industry, what's happening over here, I talk about what's happening over here, so on and so forth, and they're all over the country. And, you know, they even was, some people were even, you know, talking extensively about how a lot of immigrants, such as Mexicans specifically, were going back over into their other country. And today, country, I was about to say their other country, everybody felt like they got dual citizenship within the US, U United States, but they were going back over into their country because they were making more money over there because of the, the industries that's, that's, and how things are playing out and so on and so forth. So, you know, it's the perfect storm. It is, it's the perfect storm. And for those that, that are not aware of what's going on and that are easily distracted by what's happening um, with all of these, this little stuff, you're gonna be caught in the middle of it and you're gonna say, where did this come from? Just yesterday, everything was good and we were able to hire, 
and you know I got a good job and I've been there for the last 10 years and I wasn't worried about it because my boss liked me so on and so forth but those are the type of people that's gonna get caught up in the storm but the good news is that I don't personally believe that it's going to last any longer than, a, than the next few years, right? It's not going to really hit until over the next year or so, year, year and a half, but I don't think that it's going to last outside of any any longer than the next one, one two to three years because, um, well, we'll go into that in the next video. My point is, is that I believe that people need to gird up and prepare themselves uh, to ride this thing out. I don't think that it's gonna last that long. I don't think two to three years is a long time. Uh, historically, when we consider what things have, how things have played out and how long it took people to recover. But uh, if you can prepare yourself, and this is for the bag chasers, prepare yourself to go on a buying spree, right? Prepare yourself to go on a buying spree when it comes to businesses, prepare yourself when it comes to the, go on a buying spree when it comes to uh, cryptocurrency, if you are familiar with how to capitalize off of that and you understand it extensively, uh, prepare yourself to capitalize off of being able to purchase or buy into companies, stock market, buy into companies that you otherwise would not have had access to uh, had you not done the research and un understood exactly what an, a real investment is instead of just gambling in the stock market and you want to buy GameStop and AMC and a bunch of dumb stuff. Uh, prepare yourself to go on a buying spree and capitalize off of everybody else's inability to really prepare themselves for this particular situation. You heard it here first. Um, I've been talking about this for over a year now. Um, I've been preparing for it. And I even read the other day that Biden specifically highlighted and our federal, federal government was saying that, yo, eventually, sooner rather than later, and don't be surprised if we eventually run into another pandemic. So um, I'm always looking to capitalize off the of things and ride the wave based off of my own research and understanding. Um, I am not spending my time on a shade room. I am not spending my time on spiritual word. I think that's the name of it, right? I spend my time uh, trying to align myself with a group of people that understand exactly what's going on. And we're always mining for opportunities and looking where, where the investments are instead of looking to um, tuck tail and run and hide money because that's not how you get richer. How you get richer is being a lot more intentional than the overwhelming majority of people are. But of course, you're going to have the naysayers. You're going to say, no, everything is good. The, you know, the economy is awesome. And, you know, I can go out and buy a car and pay my bills and it's OK because I can raise a family of four or five off of $100,000 a year. Good luck with that. I'll be waiting. Not only will I be waiting, I'll be preparing to buy your house soon. All right. So I love you. I appreciate you. Make sure you join the Patreon. I got the uh, Build a Business uh, series. We're doing that on Tuesday, this upcoming Tuesday. I am meeting up with everybody in New York. So we're going to be doing that in July. Um, and I just dropped the mastermind session. All right. So listen, be prepared to capitalize off of everybody else's ignorance because they are voluntarily ignorant and they don't know what they don't know. And they like to tuck their head in the sand and act like they don't know. But they've seen this video just like you've seen it. Two people are going to make two different decisions and they're going to have two different outcomes. Which side of the fence are you going to be on? I'm just curious. I love you. I appreciate you. If you need to get in touch with me personally, email me at antondaniels413 at gmail.com. We're going to get it popping. We got the merch coming out within the next two weeks. We got the new website rolling out within the next two weeks. It's going to be awesome. I'm going to holler at you guys later. Peace.